Hey yo and welcome down to Crazy Isaac's Farms and Redstone. I have gone literally nuts from the sound of chicken, so I am giving away the secrets to my company's glorious success. Today we will start with the new Redstone update of 1.5, bringing in a lot of new stuff. New stuff that I totally plan to use. Alright, let's start off with the basics. First things first, if you really want to know the secrets to uh, Colonel Isaac's secret chicken, then y'all gotta know the secret code. You gotta go right down the middle of Highway 135. That's right, middle of Highway 135. Nope, not the right strain. Uh, not the right lane, not the left lane. And nope, no. Only the center of Highway 135. Or is it 435? I can't remember. Colonel, Colonel Isaac has gone so insane, he started calling himself Colonel. Either way, this is a uh, result of the Redstone Comparator. It will only take the center signal if it is the strongest of all three signals. So as a result of this conundrum, we now have repeaters on either side. So, that will strengthen the signal from either side, preventing the door from opening because the center signal is no longer the strongest. So, with that first piece of uh, glorious technology out of the way, we get to move on to the new and improved version of the poultry press. As you can see, I have glorious egg dropping chickens everywhere. Little signs for all them. It's all good. Them eggs come right down this little lane here, and right down into this thing. Now, this thing here is still a work in progress, but it is called the hopper. And what happens in this hopper is that the eggs will fall down from here into the hopper and be loaded directly into two glorious dispensers. And look, we got some here for an example. Now, there is some still glitchiness with these things in that if you hit the center or on the edge, it won't go in. You gotta get those things right in there. Yeah, but when you do, you can hook up this clock and fire them eggs in to get some glorious chickens. Turn off, dang it. Alright, and then when y'all are done, this is just kind of some old redstone using the old update and the blocks of how we're in repeat us hit each other. Y'all can hit this button and watch as the signal goes down, interrupts itself, and kills them delicious chicken. Leaving you with not one, not two, but as many gloriously delicious chicken breasts as y'all can handle. Look at that, we got five delicious chickens. Perfect for Colonel Isaac's delicious home-cooked chicken. The next thing I'm going to show off is going to be this glorious device. I call this the Morning Cactus. It's not really the name, but who cares? As a result of some changes to how cactuses grow in the daytime, yeah, not in the daytime, but specifically this is going to be a device that functions as such, cactuses can now grow next to objects. So as a result, I have hooked up these glorious daylight sensors from the new update. Every morning, they will punch down and kill these cactuses. They will stay down until it comes night time, then prep for the morning again. So you get a whole day of cactuses growing, and then they're all a punch down in the morning. Let me just show you here with the magic of time travel. And voila! BAM! Look at all them cactuses go, which leads us to our next exhibit, the new pressure plates, which cannot function at all through a person's weight. They function only when items are put on them. With the gold-placed one, as you can tell from these dropping cactuses, the more I have, the further this redstone signal goes. We got our glorious 13 to 17 cactuses. However, this will not function at all from my weight. Only when you throw items on this sucker. There we go. Them five chickens is giving us five. It's about every four or so you get another block of signal. And as for the iron one, I kind of gave up. It was one for the first one, 
But then y'all gotta have at least 43 for the second one, which implies that every 42 or so you'll get another block, which seems expensive. And I don't want to wait that long for my delicious morning cactus and chicken. Alright, that's about all I actually made devices with. There's also the trapped chest. Now the thing with the trapped chest is it don't matter how long your signal is outside of this thing, it goes one block and one block only. So y'all have to have a really short fuse or a repeater, because repeaters is glorious. And then there's this thing, this block of redstone. Check out that power, suckers like a battery. It'll give you power for days, just like a torch, but with four sides and can be used with pistons. Which will probably be what I wind up using it for, considering that there has been a significant change to how my glorious old devices work. Look at this. They ruined my one-tick pistons. They no longer function in the new update. Which leads me to believe that I will have to redo many of my devices with stable pistons and one of these things. I'm not really sure. But however I end up doing it, I will make sure y'all know. However, that is all. I don't know. I have gone completely batshit nuts from the sound of crazy Isaac's crazy chickens. So, the only thing left to tell you all about is undeniably the nether quartz. Used to making those comparator thingies. And possibly other things, I don't quite know. This little sucker's gonna be found all over the nether from now on. And it's gonna be used in making these things. I can't remember exactly how, I believe it's three stone on the bottom. You basically build a repeater, and then put a redstone torch, and one of the quartz things. Let me see if I can get the whole thing. Oh, nope, it'll be in materials. There it is, nether quartz. Let's get enough stuff to make one of these things on a crafting bench. Alright, and then we will need ourselves some regular stone. Yeah, alright. Whoop. There we go. Yeah. And then we just throw the stone on the bottom. A little bit of... Oh, wait, no, we needed redstone torches. I'm an idiot. Doesn't help that I've gone completely crazy! Alright, let's get what we need. Properly redstone torches. There we go. And we'll need three of those. One of this little nether quartz thing. And then three stone. And there you go, there's that comparator thing. Which is, so far, the only use I know of the new ore. And I know I've been swapping randomly between being Australian and being the Colonel. But maybe it's because the Colonel is Australian. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, no one cares. So I think that's all I'm gonna show you. Because I can't think of anything else. The, uh, the daylight sensors don't really have a recipe as of yet. And so far from what I understand of the pressure plates and whatnot, they're just two of it next to each other. So whatever material they're made out of, say, gold or iron, y'all just pop two of that in your little... Oh, wait, I don't have one? What kind of craziness is this? It just popped two, and there you go, you got the weighted pressure plate. And there you go, there's the other one. Now, they'll only function with items, as I said. They will not function with a person. And yeah, that's about all I can show y'all, heroes. This is crazy, Isaac, giving away his redstone secrets and signing off. Peace out, y'all. And enjoy the remainders of my series.